If you want that real, then watching your face Gonna give it to you straight, raw and cut Can't deal with the fake Sometimes we know we gonna ruffle some feathers But we mean what we say It's a lot of people who gonna do what we do But we lead the way If you want that real, then watching your face Gonna give it to you straight, raw and cut Can't deal with the fake Sometimes we know we gonna ruffle some feathers But we mean what we say It's a lot of people who gonna do what we do But we lead the way in your face yeah, you know what time it is, you know what we came to do, you know what we always do every Monday, every Monday, every Monday, every Monday, every... We got all, we almost full, fully uh, full capacity today, I hope oh, everybody is having a great day, I hope all is well, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Midwest Podcast in your face. I guess as we said it for the last couple episodes, we gotta say it, please hit that subscribe button. Look at we been saying that. Bro, we ain't been saying it. That's why we been sitting still. No, we ain't been saying it. We ain't been turned up. I'm about to turn it up. You think it's done? Hit the like share. Yes, you think man. It's man, every time I look at them numbers, bro, it be like 80% who's unsubscribed is watching. Like, we literally got niggas watching, but they just not subscribing. But that's okay, always well, the case. I gotta subscribe then. <laughs> that's a, that will always, that is that's, always the case on YouTube. Nigga, I'm guilty of it. That's you know true. how many niggas I watch that I'm not subscribed to? I'm probably gonna go to one of the niggas' videos here in a minute. But shout out to y'all, man. Y'all Subscriptions or not, we appreciate y'all liking, commenting, yeah, all that extra stuff. Get us over the hump. No, we actually got some ex uh, extra content coming, man. We, we about to start doing a little extra. We just a, I mean, well, it ain't gonna be extra. It's just gonna be more content. <clears throat> it's not, nothing is extra. You talking about for you. Strip us off? No, just just in general. in general. May 10th, y'all. Be on lookout for that. May 10th? It'd eight. be for them. A for us. Oh, Come on, baby. Stay with me, Kevin. May 10th, y'all. Yeah, y'all yeah. got that stripper soul, man. Yeah, but we got a great line. To Kristen, break. you coming? Yeah. Are you bringing the I ones, like though? A lot of ones. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Stack on stack on stack. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. How what? many? How many? How many, oh. <laughs> how many strippers it's gonna be there? Because I was about to say how many hoes gonna be there. Oh, no, no. I, said, uh, I was about to be like how many hoes gonna be there? And now I, I, I catch myself. I, I, it's supposed to be five, man. We're supposed to have five beautiful young ladies, um, you know, coming to talk about what they do, you know, why they do it, and Money. yeah. Yeah. Money is the motive. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm kind of. I'm. Uh, I'm in the middle. What you mean? I want to see. I want to see. Well, cause we got one that I've seen before, but I don't know about the other ones. Other uh, four, yeah. Yeah. So I want to see what. I'm. I'm interested. I'm with it. Then we got variety. That's what's so good. Man, we just gonna pop bottles and just make. We gonna make it an old rapper video. <laughs> That's the episode gonna be about. Old rapper video. Rapper video. Shake champagne. <laughs> Yeah. Check it out. I feel like, well, my house about to get trashed. <laughs> I feel like it's about to be a wrap. <laughs> I'm clearing out as much stuff as I can. Like, I gotta, yeah, you definitely gotta, yeah, you definitely probably got to clear some stuff. Yeah, out. boy, I feel like it's about to go. Now, nah, boys will help you clean up, bro. Boys yeah, ain't just leave. Niggas gonna, get, <laughs> niggas gonna grab a bottle, throw it in the trash, walk out, and be like, all right, bro, we out of here. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave like that. Don't be surprised yeah. if I come up right the couch that's yeah, that's all I'm trying to leave. Yeah, the, the table out, and the TV out. out. Yeah, we got a um, we got an event coming up that we're gonna be hosting. That uh, actually we're gonna have the guest. We're gonna have her as a guest come on the show so she can explain more about it. Um, but yeah, man, that's gonna be the first little thing you know in your first podcast to host it. Yeah. So when we give y'all the date and the time and the website, if y'all wanna meet us, get the ticket. We are gonna be there. Saying. Mm. Adult prom, baby. I'm about to go give me a, a, a suit or a tux. Just not buying either. <laughs> Bro, that's what it is, though. Yeah, I understand, but I'm yeah. not buying it. I mean, you can wear casual yeah. wear. You can't? Yeah. No, bro. I need a suit. Cas Do you know what casual wear is, though? Nah. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, because when you said it, I was like, casual wear was jeans and a shirt, sweatshirt. That's what he thought. Oh, no. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. This to me is casual today. I ain't get time to go home and do nothing. 
Uh, I just threw this on. Not the sandals. This is, bro, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even put some up. Bro, this is it. It's just a jacket. This was from um, <laughs> w- w- uh, uh, um, baseball game today, man. We can start with there. How was everybody's week? My girls had their first baseball or softball games today. I was, I was a proud father at moments. Other moments, I was kind of embarrassed. I'm like, damn, like this is bad because Kira is like the rookie league. Nikayla is like intermediate, like AA, yeah, seven between seven and eight year olds. Mm-hmm. So they games going on at the same time. So the mom had one. I'm, I'm with Kira because they don't have a coach. Yeah. So the dads are yeah, stepping yeah, yeah. up. I know how it works. Yep, the dads got to get in, yeah, know, help tell the kids where to go, blase school. So I'm with Kira. These kids, I'm gonna just talk about mine. My daughter has no intention span. Like, bro, if she's just standing there, she about to freak out. Cause you know when they go out in the outfield, just yeah. gotta wait. Yeah, yeah. And then these other kids is trying to hit the ball, and it's like strike, strike, yeah. strike. Yeah. Like they not hitting it, bro. Yeah. So here it just up there, just I'm like, here, come on. And then I had Milton on the phone when the ball finally came her way. We've been waiting on this all game. Boom, you hear the ball, bing, and I see it run. I'm like, Kira, get the ball. She's like, no, no. I'm like, this is your time. This is your time. What are you doing? But she a good, she a good hitter, though. You can't, you can't put her in this situation if you never threw a ball with her. Right. I tried. You got to be I tried. Tried. But you got, I, I mean, the truth be told, like, we didn't take this game serious because they literally only had one practice before the game. Mm-hmm. So they really doing this for the kids that just have something to do. They don't take it serious. We didn't keep score. Like, this is just something for the kids to do and have fun. That's what it was. But I definitely did, like, yesterday. I was like, come on, let's go in the back and just throw around. So I had to go buy them some bats and a little mitt because on the first practice, they ain't had none. Mm-hmm. So all other kids had some. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, you got me twisted. My kid's going to be over here looking like the kids that just ain't got nothing. Right, right, right. I'm like, we ain't doing that. Hey, no, I'm at Walmart real quick. <laughs> got, yeah. got, got, got them together. Yeah. Came with a little bundle, yeah. mitt, uh, bat, glove. I'm like, that. Yeah. So I went in the back through a so little bit. Literally, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> the gist of this. They've never played baseball. No. So they just. And you literally just put them in there. It was like, hey, go do it. There it is. We, we learning on the go. But but I'm lucky though, because a lot of them kids ain't playing no, before. No, 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 no. And, uh, and what really killed them is COVID last year because they shut it down. Yeah. So kids that would have had one year experience in still had none, yeah. like mine. I was like, cool. We, we now, most kids, that. most kids don't know how to play sports. They get the idea of it, but not even just know how to play. I think they know how to play. They just be too scared. Mm-hmm. The idea of people watching them trying to perform, mm-hmm. actually do something physical. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 a lot of pressure. So let me ask y'all this, because I felt a little kind of way. Um, I also want to make sure it ain't just me. But when your kids is playing the sport and there's other kids on their team. And the other kid do something right, and then they daddy and stuff just get to going on like, yeah, that's my boy, this, this, and that. I kind of be up over there like, mm. What? Like, I don't know, it just made me feel kind of funny, bro. Like, uh-huh. bro, I don't know, bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> he didn't have nothing to cheer for, and they uh, have I'm like, mm, this like nigga son, dude, I heard Airbnb no good. Water, Low key, yeah. just Kira <laughs> took two hits to hit the ball. She like, miss one. Then he came back against it. Bam, she hit it. And you know she yeah. ran. That little dude went out there first time. Bing! I was like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I like, said, damn yeah. man. Yeah. But yeah, they they hit the ball. <laughs> Michaela did her thing too. She hit it. And she kept and the boy kids pay attention to you. When they do sports, I'm watching them. And every time like they think I probably look at they like they watch sneak it. they yeah. sneak look at me yeah. to see if I'm watching. Yeah. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is cute. And then when I when we make eye contact, they just they smile and look yeah. away like no, that's Kevin the whole time we eat the we eat playing basketball. That boy over there like I'm like, you did it right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> look okay, at him. Like he know he, when he mess up, like he turn the ball over, he look at me, I'm like <laughs> I'm like, don't let it happen again, bro. Do not let that shit listen, happen again. You know, I get triggered, bro. Especially when you turn the ball over on some dumb shit. Oh, I get mad. These are kids. No, bro. Pass the ball, Kevin. <laughs> Stop holding it. I'm like. And you know, I'm so glad everybody, you know, the thing is changing. Like, because a lot of parents, you know, back in the day, especially when I was playing sports, mm-hmm. nobody parent was there. 
Really? Oh, these parents is hype. Now. Like, <coughs> yeah, like a lot back in the day. Back in the day, it was it, it was literally. I will. I, you could count on one hand how many parents were in the in the stadium or uh in the bleachers. Why kids was out there playing sports? Coaches used to take like, well, my coach used to take me to the game. Like we would go to yeah. other schools. We, I mean, a lot of parents had to work back then too. Like it was no, no, they just got to work now. I mean, but it's more. I guess games are more yeah. during the times when people are off of work. Yeah, they can get uh, there. you should have scooted that way. Versus people oh, in there. Happening. But wait, did y'all see that basketball that. game where the ref hit the uh, parent and then all the parents oh, yeah. beat him up? That was here. here. Yeah, what? the Pacers Academy. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Yeah, he got his ass. It was like out. a basketball game, yeah, and then I don't know. I guess like the, the the referee and the parent got into it, and so he stole the referee the ref tagged him. Tagged the uh, Hold on. parent. <laughs> yeah, he tagged him. <laughs> and then who got jumped out there? The, the ref, ref did. Then the whole, the whole parents, crowd jumped at me. Even the girls, a little. It was a girls' basketball game, and one of the girls that were playing in the game, she. Yeah, Star, I guess the, the uh, daughter of one of the video for this video? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and oh, the referee of the game, y'all. he's up here. It's so hilarious because he's like still like the, the, the man that does the commentary. He's like going, he's like, oh, and he hit yeah. him with a hook. <laughs> and, oh, he's down. Stumped, I mean, they stumped him out. Oh, that? Yeah. What was the other refs doing? It's usually more nothing. Wild, oh, right? That ain't got nothing to do with that nigga. Yeah, right. It ain't gonna hit him up. Right. They gotta go in and help. I'd have been like, what? Come on over here, y'all. It was all the parents got out there and started stomping the refs. So, nobody about to jump in and help him. They stomped that nigga out, bro. They got bad. I was like, damn. I watched that shit. I was like, oh my God. (laughs) That nigga shouldn't have swung. That ain't another crazy one. Well, okay, so in Cincinnati, I seen that I guess the guy was mad because his son wasn't getting enough playing time. And this man's in a wheelchair. He rides around to the ref and shoots the ref. In oh, the head, shit. in the middle of the video yeah, game, because his son could The ref, play. though, or the coach? The referee. How the fuck you shoot the ref? He shot the referee. It was crazy. I'm like, what is going what on? What the fuck the ref got to do with that, though? What does the ref have to do with and that? And he was they in a wheelchair. Control his playing time? These, hey, listen. These parents are hype. They, they go to the games now, yeah, but they be hype. Time, time is changing, man. People back outside. Niggas been ready to get their gun. They blowing the dust off their guns. Niggas got to get them, get them numbers up. That just don't make sense to me. The ref? The Why ref. shoot the ref, nigga? It's the like they calling the, they call the, you know, plays. I don't know. No, nah, that's the coach. Play. The coach calls the plays. Yeah, the ref not, don't do nothing but blow his whistle. He right. don't got nothing he to do with that. He ain't call no foul. If they yeah. can, that's what I'm saying. If they feel like they should have called the whistle. It's yeah, just play time. Oh, but yeah, that's not playing time. That's yeah. that that's weird, man. That's yeah, fucking weird, right? man. That nigga has a problem in a wheelchair. You let a handy nigga, handicap nigga, <laughs> roll up on you so he got you just right. really not giving no fuck that this nigga just rolling the fuck up on you yeah. mid game and just pop and you. Who thinks a handicap person got a problem? Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> if you I'm just not <laughs> this fucked up. This <laughs> fucked up. But you you're not I'm really not you're not taking together. no danger. You're not thinking Bro, danger not somebody is hitting uh crippled. I'm I'm gonna think something I'm sorry, though. What? Why are you rolling up on me like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen, my nigga was probably from that element, but he he probably was just smooth with it too. Like yeah. I don't think he was just over there like Yeah, he ain't running up on you. Like, like he wasn't over there with a purpose, like nigga, I'm gonna get this <laughs> nigga. I'm pretty sure he was like, he was like, right, like, like yeah, it's it's over for this nigga. Like, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody dangerous and get a gun too. Yeah. Everybody is. That's Speaking of that man, the segue yeah. to an unfortunate event with Makai. Just thinking of the things that, you know, it's an unfortunate event and a lot of people have a, a lot of karma. I wanted to get, you know, dialogue from y'all. Say what, see what y'all think. So, I mean, I know, you know, for the audience, a little girl, 15 year old girl, Makai, she was out. They were having a, dis, uh, a, basically a dispute. Everybody was out there fighting. Police pulls up. He didn't assess the situation fully. He seen the little girl had a knife. I guess she started moving toward another little girl. He shot her four times. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it was a better way that that could have been handled or what? Absolutely, absolutely. I went to school for criminal justice. So it's levels to it, you know, but drawing your weapon is the absolute last resort. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like even with a knife, you know, mm-hmm. drawing your weapon is the absolute last resort. He could have tased her. He, If he was gonna shoot, he didn't have to shoot her four times. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? From the back, 
you know, I, I feel like it was a little excessive. There were other officers there. They could have handled the situation a lot better. Um, and I'm sorry, but the little girl is in Ohio in a, in a state where you can defend yourself and your property if someone violates that. From my understanding, mm -hmm. there were four girls that came to that property they to were fight her. sisters, actually. It was I didn't crazier. know who the girls were, but they came to fight her. And, you know, one of them attacked her dad, you know, mm -hmm. which is seen in the video. If somebody attacks my dad, First of all, I'm gonna stab you, bitch. Like, yeah, <laughs> you come but, over here on my property trying to stab that, trying to fight my dad. Yeah, if you like, about to get jumped, you definitely gonna grab a weapon. Yeah, you, I, I, I will grab night. a weapon for yeah. sure if I'm getting jumped. My thing is, someone called for help, you assess the situation. If you thought anybody was in danger, which she did have a knife, I can understand that. But there were ways before shooting her four times to digress that situation. Yeah. And she was a kid, she, she was a grown a woman, she was a child. I felt I just felt like they could have either tased her or shot her. If he was gonna shoot her, he should have shot her in the leg, and that would have stopped her. But at the same time, just he just went in with the mentality of I'm a kid. Like I feel like he, he they don't care kill. about black people. It's a black person yeah. shoot him down. And that's and that's more so what that's I was the getting. Main problem. And that's that's more so my problem because I've seen too many videos where white a white dude was. They, it's literally a video so that just exactly. came out. The nigga, the nigga was in the truck. They told him to get out the truck or whatever. He didn't obey anything. This nigga had an officer on the side of the truck. Oh, yeah, I seen that. And they took, and he I took his ass like, for a ride. Yeah. And they, they detained him without him getting killed. Exactly. So that that's more so of what my, my whole problem is. Yeah. Like, how are y'all getting people detained that are being aggressive mm -hmm. out the mm -hmm. gate? They, they not obeying anything. And even the nigga that got pepper sprayed, that was a soldier. Yeah, I seen I'm that. His hands was out the window. Yeah. He wasn't being aggressive. He was asking questions. See, and stuff, he still got You know what? But stuff like that, that's tough, man. It's the complete Cuz it's kind of like if he would have just listened, it wouldn't have escalated there to that point. But Why does it, it have to wouldn't. be that way? Listen to me and I won't kill you. Listen to me and I, mean, I won't that, that, that I won't is disrespect true. you. That Black is people true. don't have those same how, like those But how are you walking up on the on the car? You literally just pulled the man over and you telling him to get out the car before he does anything. You ain't read him no rights, you ain't telling him what he did wrong, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. So not that's not, that's you. not, that's not, that's actually completely wrong. You can't, that's not them, he's not doing his job and that's where we have, that's the problem with what we're doing right now. We're not holding these cops accountable for doing their job. And that's, that's where my problem is. This dude ran up on this dude. He ain't telling him what he did wrong. He ain't telling him why he's telling him to get out the car. He didn't say anything. He literally was saying, you not obeying me. And he was getting more aggressive in his voice. Mm -hmm. He pepper sprayed the nigga. The nigga is literally in tears like, yeah, bro, like, I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, he just kept asking questions. And, and then he telling him to reach for his seatbelt. Nigga, I'm pepper sprayed. I can't see at this fucking point. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do? So that's and more. a lot, too. So my, my thing is, when when is when are the police going to be police? It's when not are they going to be? That. When are white people going to stop? And it's not all white people, but when is the color of your skin going to stop villainizing you? You go to a, a store, got motherfuckers following you around because they think you're stealing. I have plenty of money. You know what I mean? It's just like, when is the color of your skin going to stop making you a villain? That's the, it, it's the whole racial profiling is taught in college in the criminal justice, in the criminal justice uh, major. No, no, but I will say this, just going back to Makai, because I, I kind of got off of her and I seen the other one that kind of made me roll into that. But getting back to Makai, I don't know how I feel because she did have a threatening weapon. I, I couldn't, from the video, I didn't see her lunging at the girl. I didn't. She wow. did. She, she did. did. They she were fighting. They were fighting. almost like they were fighting. Yeah. And but I, but when he her. got there, but he when got he... her, she was like this. Like, oh, okay. So I didn't. But see. towards the girl, she was not being threatening towards the officer. Like she never once came towards him. Yeah. In the video. yeah I, but his, his job he, is to protect. Yeah. They but said that, that he saved. Just, he potentially saved the other dad. girl's life. So that, question. That, question is this. Question is this. Why was she even there? But the question is this. Right. So the question is this. Uh, I'm, I'm, this, this case is kind of a little bit more difficult for mm -hmm. me on the strength of the little girl did have a knife, but they said he was a marksman shooter. So I didn't understand why he didn't go to disarm, shooter in the arm, shooter in the leg. 
you, you get hit with a it bullet. I'm pretty sure you gonna stop whatever the fuck. You and you shot her four times. You. It depends, bro. And I'm just Adrenaline sorry, is why, a beast. Why, why? And low key, when I got shot, I didn't drop. Like I, you're I, a man, though. This is a 15 year old little but girl. But why, when it comes to black people, everything depends. It depends on you. It depends on how no, you act. No, no, like, I mean that's and then that's that. tough too. When it comes to white and black situations, like with two people with a knife, these are two different officers too. We don't know how the officer who shot her will react to the white dude. Like we seen how the white man with the knife reacted to a different cop. Like. Those are two different people. So, I mean, it's kind of tough to judge it. Like, it's not well, this dude had a knife, and this dude had a knife, and he got shot, and he didn't, but that's not the same person. It's not hard to judge person. the fact that white people feel less threatened by other white people. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm scared people, of her. You're, you're scared. scared. Off they should have been scared of her. But like it's just when you can kill a video. He could have easily went over there and took the knife from her. He was a little girl. Yeah, but he was too far for that. Now, what I'm saying is this. I definitely don't think he should have shot her. I definitely think he should have tased her because that definitely got enough juice to st yes. stop whoever. Oh, uh, yeah. Her and as a cop drop. during training, I've seen too many people. Drop. As a cop during training, you actually have to get tased yourself in order to even carry a taser. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to, that's in training. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's just the that. training. It's yeah, just it's, the training it's, and the things that they know. He knows better. I mean, listen, to me, it's at that point where it's like, okay, when 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 is excessive force going to be held accountable for what, <coughs> what it is? I think they I mean, try to start with. Um, George Floyd's killer, but yeah, but I mean, that later a little girl's killed. Like right, like five killings happened the same day of and day after. So did you see the kids in the school that got shot in in yeah. the in the school in the school in the bathroom? Yeah, that and that, I want to hear now that I one. I really want to. I want to hear about that. So the little boy before so he got shot was like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," and then no, so all the heard was clap, clap, clap. So the little dude, the little dude that was in the bathroom. Apparently, it was two little dudes in the bathroom. Something happened with an altercation with somebody's daughter. His girlfriend. His girlfriend. They something happened. Something happened between them two. The mother of the daughter called the police on the boy. The little boy, they, they didn't apprehend him. I don't know what happened in that bathroom. They said he had a gun. They didn't release any footage on this one. Mm -hmm. This is one of those where let me let let us let us decide what happened. Because to me, there's no reason for you to go in the bathroom. Why are y'all? Why can't y'all apprehend nobody that's black? Like nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody that's black. Y'all yeah, get, y'all can get a mass shooter. This nigga will be in handcuffs on his way to prison. Right. But for some reason, every time it's a black person, and that's the problem. Even if it is a weapon, that's somehow right. they end up dead. That's every every way, there every is a time. Disregard of the people of color in America, and that's the, and that's just what it is. Because in the UK, they they don't the way black people live there is not the same as the way they live here. They don't experience it that much there. And I have a cousin that lives in the UK. She has a black son. She don't have the same fears that we have in America. It is the black people in America. Period. So do y'all feel like since we know that as black people, do we need to move different? Yes. Okay. No. Nigga, I feel like, I feel like this. I feel like this. At some point, I feel like that's that's an. I, I don't want to go on that. At this I point, like I, I have two black boys as a I mean, son, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we need to talk them. about it. To be honest, yeah. because if we know we held different, we can't do things white people gonna do because we could die. We, Yo, it's we need to move. Modern slavery. Yeah. Modern slavery. Modern but slavery. That, but in that case. You have cases like even the nigga that was in the military that had his hands out that wasn't threatening in no shape, form, or fashion. It's still aggression. It's oh, it's too aggressive. So that's what yes. I'm saying. We're it don't matter. At, at some point, nigga, you you can't tuck your fucking tail no. between your legs only so much. That's what that's where I'm getting to. Uh, you well, literally you still have to be careful though. If, if your wife like, on the line, you're going to swallow that careful. pride sometimes. But that's like you saying when Massa to. is about to kill you and rape your wife and sell like that's what I'm saying. It's modern day slavery. Black people, people have I'm, always been afraid. I'm not I'm I'm, I'm We I'm have to, to stop get, being afraid and come together as a family. I'm and, listen, I'm I'm gonna make it even more broad. I'm gonna take it off of just just uh, us being black. I'm taking it to a point of holding the people the the police that are supposed to protect accountable they we are in charge of them so if we right. my, my thing is this why isn't it where people are getting aggressive with them and then put them motherfuckers in handcuffs because i mean at this point it's like it's no what can you do i'm, I'm not gonna be over obedient and still get fucked up because it's a lose-lose i'm gonna die being 
tucking my fucking tail between my legs. I used to want to. It's be a lose lose. I used to want to be a cop. Bro, that's a I lose lose. I bro, that's a lose lose. Like nine, five I, of the time. It's I, a lose lose. I, I feel like I that at least, I feel like that at least increase your odds of getting out of that situation. And you know what I, I think would help? I think it would help if minorities weren't in, on the force. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to I be a cop know. because I felt like I and people my color, uh, yeah, yeah but that's what I'm the white cop. But it's yeah, because of the way the system do. is set up. You have to understand, like once you get in there, it's like a brotherhood, if you will. You know what I'm saying? And if you go against the grain, like they're they're gonna bully you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're not yeah. like I'm telling you. That's why I left it. I used to work. Right. You know what I mean? I used to work for the government doing similar shit. And I literally left after three years because I was like, listen, first of all, my clients don't respect me, first of all, because they all want to, you know, what you're doing tonight. I can deal with that. And then, you know, I got staff. I mean, my, my brothers, my team, like, just disrespecting me. You don't, you don't want to be, and that's why the minority is not on the force. There's no respect for it, but I feel like it would help if we did have more minority on the force. It would change it a little bit. That's tough. Yeah, and the government ain't gonna step in and do nothing. I don't no, know. They, 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 on a, they, on a, they on the side of the badge. The badge yeah. is the, the badge. So is how hard. could us as a, the people do anything if the government won't even do nothing? They work for us. It's more of them. If people stood to, if people, if, 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 if every, the thing is that everybody has not gathered and, and voted. But why? Because a lot of white people, they, they're not on our side. If, if everybody came together and made a decision, the government has to obey everything the people say. But based on the census, but unfortunately that that won't ever happen. Based but on that, the that's, census, that's, I'm based on the census though, America is seventy five percent white people and the rest is black. So I, ideally, we're outnumbered. So do yeah. do can we win? <laughs> white people will always feel like they are better than black. Did y'all see that commissioner that wouldn't call that lady by the, by her name? She kept saying my name is Dr. Rosario. And he kept calling oh, yeah, her by her name, the Carrie. Doctor in my name. <laughs> if I got a oh, doctor. Yeah, no, if you get that tag, no, you got it. No, he you gotta, it, he kept telling, she kept telling, because I guess he was some type of commissioner. She kept telling him, he kept saying, hey, well, Dr. Ardell, he kept calling her Carrie Rosario. She was like, it's Dr. Rosario. And she was like, he was like, no, Carrie. I mean, it doesn't say that doctor on your tag. Like, he would not call her wow. doctor. He just kept being disrespectful to yeah, her. they do work hard for that doctor. Period. For real. And so then, they're hard. Hard. Yeah, they're they're fired too, but. It's probably like 1% of people that become doctors in, 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 in America, so. And yeah, she, looked, and she doesn't look like you older. black. I'm gonna put that DR in front of your name, She doctor. kept telling him and he refused to put doctor in front of her name. Like he was so disrespectful. He kept calling her by her first name, last name. Like he refused to say doctor. Like it was just like he didn't want it to sound like it was better than him. Mm. Well, I'm gonna listen, just, <laughs> just to get it off a somber conversation. Now I'm gonna get a little ignorant. Might as well. <laughs> Everybody showing up late when they want to and stuff. Hey man. <laughs> a, this is this and the ladies, y'all can speak to this too. I know y'all can probably chime in. Let them this. go first. Let them Wait. go first. Tell tell me a time where uh <laughs> we was talking we was having this conversation briefly before the podcast. Side chick. Do y'all play y'all roles right? Or? Oh, yeah. I've been never one. been a side chick. So. I've been one. I've been okay. one plenty of times. You you respect everything? Absolutely. Yes. Please, go home to your woman. Please. I'm for the family. He comes home. He comes to me talking about, I, I need, uh, we're going through it. I think we're going to break. Don't break up. Make it work mm. out. <laughs> you know what? As long, as, as long as I get my benefits, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're paying my bills. Taking me shopping, buying me gifts, like, mm. puppy, take care That's of That's what family. I heard, the side chicks get the best yes. of it. Yes, and they, I, I don't have to deal them. with the problems, go home. No, 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 that's not, but you see, that that's the thing, you you are the the most minute number of the side chicks that exist. Right, because right. most of them want to be heard. They, they want to be they heard, they, they want to be seen. I'm fucking your man. Listen, sis was on my car insurance. She, I recently took her off my car insurance just because I couldn't keep mm. carrying, it, carrying it over. But, and he paid for it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, She's I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, if, I'm on, if I know, if you allow me to be a side chick, nah, and, you you let, and I say allow because nah, not lying to me. You know nah, what I'm saying? When you nah, tell you the truth. You got, you, got, you, got, you got side chick award. When you, got, you tell you the truth and you let me know I got a woman, I'm going to be like, okay, do I want to fuck with him or not? And then you come in here and you taking me on trips. 
You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, this man went to the extent of putting on his work helmet on, standing by a work truck to FaceTime his wife. Mm. Okay? And I had no problems with that. I said, I said, baby, you so silly. Let's go out to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I have no problems. I'll be quiet, mm. you know, when she calls. Like, this I, is we, we have no problems as long as you listen, go home. Listen. This is my audience. If you ever have a side chick, <laughs> you need one like me. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's level. You now, now understand, y'all, y'all got to witness this. We, this is not us. You know, normally sometimes it's just us in here talking. What should be happening? But these women exist. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lexi. We do. <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. But again, you have to be the man, though. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't listen, if you're not gonna, you know, hold your bargain, I'm be like, hey, bro, I'm finna tell. You can't take nah. you have the nah, relationship. Nah, you lost your award. No, 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 Again, as a side chick, you have the power. You could blow the whole shit up. That's true. So as long as you hey, shut the fuck up, you're good. Hey, hey, this, this was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this was. This, 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 yeah, nah, she murdered. It. <laughs> You know what? We ain't gotta talk sweet, about it. Like, oh, we can continue on. Oh no, it's so chick out there. I'm like, dang. Like, maybe I should uh, yeah. turn this up. Yeah, black men are Because I would have been like, I would have, I'm the type of person, I'm nosy. So I'm like, if I'm on somebody's car insurance, I, I he said I paperwork. He, he said I was his best friend's wife. <coughs> and then I met the mama and the, and the family, you know, so they know about me. So everybody's covering. You know what I'm saying? We 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 part. We a we a family, <laughs> and I'm for the family. You know what I'm saying? I want the family. I want you guys to be happy and to be with your kids and to be happy. You know, come on, fuck off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So what's up, man? You, you don't get lonely at night, though. I mean. If I get lonely at night, I'm gonna make a phone call to the nigga I make a phone call at when I'm lonely at night. Okay, so you got you a side Of piece. course. What the hell? Like you're not just you're not just a mistress. No, you a mistress and you got your own life. It works out. Well, you know, man. I, you know, I thought that conversation was gonna go, but she killed her so bad. <laughs> I've never been a side chick, so I ain't never had to make no, I was, or yep. no calls. And or you no know one. what? I, personally, Choices. as a single woman, I had it for a while there, at least a year or so, I had preferred niggas who was in relationships. Just because I didn't want you to call me the next day, like Preach. I didn't, I didn't want you to expect me to text you the next morning and ask you how you're doing. No, no, like, no, no. Because he, listen, listen, we gotta let. It, just call as me. Man. You, just call me when you Hold need. Hold on, let me. To, let me get that. You, you've been killing it too long. <laughs> just, it's dead. Let me just, she's kicking us in her body. Like, let, me, let me just shimmy in just a little bit, fellas. Lexi, you know what I'm saying. That's it. All right, man. So we're going to continue on. You know what I mean? Continue on with some other topics. And do some have y'all been side dudes? Side, look, side dudes? Ooh. They have. I got a funny story, man. Oh, go ahead. Man. I want to hear this. I was a side nigga once, right? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She had a whole... They was like a family. See? You know what I'm saying? But the nigga wasn't... You know, he wasn't on his square. You know what I mean? You weren't trying to steal her away. You just no, wanted to No, no, I knew what it was. Oh, yeah, we just because I was in a relationship. Okay. Mm. Okay, she too. Yeah, we was we was like it was like the double negative that makes a positive. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see how I did that? Yeah. Y'all see okay. how I did that? The double negative that makes a positive. Because two, negative, two negatives make a positive. Y'all ain't going to tell on each other either. Exactly. So, you know, we, if you're going to cheat, you got to cheat. That's the better right. way to do it. If you're going to cheat, you got to cheat right. Okay, people? Just, just understand that. But anyway, story goes on. Okay. Me and her. Like, I don't cheat. I ain't this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look. So, me and the chick, me and the chick, we messing around, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And one day, you know, um. <laughs> One day she needed a ride to work. I don't know what happened. She called me. I didn't think nothing of it. Come pick me up, baby daddy. Yeah. What? I got you. <laughs> I love those guys. Yeah, like I got you. We going. You going? We going right my way. Come on, I got you. Pull up. I'm sitting outside. Hit the text. 
I'm laid back in the car at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm laid it's back. Over there. I'm outside. She come uh she didn't come out. That's my man. Then I heard a gunshot. Oh, <laughs> Nah, beep this out. I heard the gunshot, but I'm in the community, so I mean, I, I wasn't, I didn't think too much of it. I was chilling. I'm like, oh shit, somebody getting shot in. <laughs> right? And then she called me, like, she calling me. I pick up the phone. She's like, go, get out of here. <laughs> like I'm like, movie. look, I'm really confused. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Everything cool? She's like, he got the gun, he's shooting. I said, ah, oh, okay. I hung up the phone and just drove off casually, hey. Eh? Damn, that's serious. That was the end of your side, nigga. Yeah, no, that situation was over. After I got shot at, you know, the rules over. Damn, that would probably make me double. That shit would make me double. I don't know. Like, if a bitch tried to shoot me, like, man. Nigga, every story I tell is true. I mean, I knew that one personally. I was like, I don't know this one. I'm going to have to ask, does your wife have a gun? She was fine. Hey, shout out to you. I was about to say your name, but, you know. Uh, I'm gonna live your life. If a girl shoot at you, are you going back to the nigga after? Probably. I'm toxic like that. Mm, no. Look at he I'm toxic said, like no. that. I had a, no, I had a bitch pull a gun on me and I was like, bitch, shoot me. And everyone at the party just went around me and put her out the party. Listen, Lexi, 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 you are you are on a level. Lexi. You like <laughs> like I be trying to like put you like like you up there, but as you keep talking, it just keeps climbing. I'm like, shit. What level is you at, Shavis? Sorry, pals. All right, well you know, side chick. That, I, was, I was the only one. I'm usually the only one that goes <coughs> on that ledge. Just side chick, just side man. Okay, what about you? Nah, he almost got shot at. That wasn't it. She knew about him. They don't be knowing about me. That's different. Hey man, and the messed up part is, the messed up part, like, hey man, you know, I hate to disclose this information, but the messed up part, right? It was up when homie went to jail. Mm. You little nasty. <laughs> you little nasty. <laughs> hey, it was up, you hear me? I'm up in there like laid up. She may bring me Kool-Aid. I'm like, I'm hey, sick this is nice. Nice little shit indeed they got going on up there. Oh, man. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind, man. Never mind. Let's keep going, Kevin, man. Let's in the past going. life of yours, have you ever I had... I don't know why he's so silent. You acting like sick. you ain't never. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Have you ever had a bad experience with a bitch? Yeah, I have. Yeah, what happened? Oh, no, that's that. Wait, have you heard from your cabin friends? No, I don't know my friends. Oh, they was her, they friends. Was her friends. Okay, okay. She's still friends with them. <laughs> <laughs> She's still friends with them. <laughs> this is funny as so hell. I didn't, I didn't expect. <laughs> yeah, you expect her to be a good side chick, girl? <laughs> Not like that, yeah. Like you trying to go. She, she just cutting it down. Never mind. Oh, Listen. You don't get no dog way out of this. But is that the type of side chicks that you guys like? Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yes. But not the ones that yes. I ain't never met a one that'll fight. She's a lot, man. Listen. Yes. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's yes. be honest. Let's be honest. Lexi, let's be honest. Hold on, stop. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> Uh, Lexi is a anomaly. Uh, what is it? A lump, uh, anomaly? Yeah. What do you mean? That's not true. Uh, these, this this level of side <laughs> chicks is not have. out there. <laughs> this level? Oh, uh, no. Nah, that's I lottery. I've been mistress for years. But that, for listen, one. you don't have to keep going. We know the level. <laughs> years. We don't have to keep going. <laughs> so we knocked you up here now. Yeah, we got you, man. Uh, what else we got, man? We got, we got something else. That was, that was funny. That was, that was super You brought funny. that up. I didn't bring it up. Yeah, no, 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 no. no I'm, <laughs> glad, I'm glad it happened. Any, anybody got anything else they want to talk about? No, I was wondering to know what was going on with the video that you guys posted on Facebook with the, you know, like the, what was that? The Oh, Kevin. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to Kevin with the Kevin out. Samuels. Yeah. Well, you was somebody's auntie that day? What you was on, Kevin? Oh shit! Was, uh, was that was that from the podcast before where you guys had talked about? Uh, no, that was Kevin mm -hmm. doing random stuff. Yeah, that's like him being him. I yeah. liked that. So what, like, what was that? What was, what was the subject? It was uh. Bitches on shit. It was not besides <laughs> that. that was really it was, no, uh, what was it for? It was, it was like man, how, how man, like a, a high value man. A high value man. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you talking about the and episode? Getting a high value right? man is being a good side chick. Period. Them high value men want side chicks. <laughs> I would have to be in a relationship Crazy to be right somebody's now. side chick. No. You don't think don't, you could ever do that? You know, I don't think not I in a relationship. Yes, yeah, you could. Be somebody's side chick yeah, and yeah, it's it. so much fun. I don't you don't understand? You, you take you trips and stuff. I mean, so yeah. like just being. I mean, you gotta be in a relationship to be a side chick. I'm not, I'm not right, because what if I look? Women are emotional creatures. Like you don't. I'm oh, not that emotional. Oh, okay, okay. I have okay. negative tendencies. So I yeah, that makes that that that's to be like, I love you. I want you to stay no, here with no, me no, tonight. No, 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 that ain't that ain't how it go. You usually <laughs> you decide chick. <laughs> the L word usually don't come up. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You, I said usually. I said it does. Yes, it does. Your side usually. Be a side chick for he is going to love you, and why he's going to love you is because you shut the fuck up and you do what he says. He loves you, and he doesn't want to lose said, you. That's what you like. But you that level? Up. See, no, I'm asking you out because she that level of so, side chick that niggas. Don't I'm getting get my coins, and I'm and again. That's just one person. That's one person. <laughs> you're as a single person, you can date whoever you want. So that's one person that it's a relationship. Yes, it's a side chick relationship, but why does it have to be negative? Yeah, see, that's something. Cause some some men, if you a man like me, I don't, I don't we're not doing all that extra shit. You just we get fucking. Like I'm not, I'm not. So you're not giving no money. No, I'm not doing none of that. See, right, if you don't, don't like that, then you don't that's have to not be a side chick relationship, somebody. though. Yeah, that don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't do side chick relationships. Exactly. Just fuck them and then, now yeah, that's I mean, just that's, cheating. That's, that's, and then, that's he just of, cheats. And that's, I mean, and that's getting back into the level of cheating. So I mean, it's like how you cheat. So I mean, of course, if you get a, if you like, if you like somebody consistent, you are gonna keep going back. Then yeah, that, that's. That, I, I would, yeah. I would, but me personally, cheat. yeah, I would rather just cheat. He'd rather just cheat. Right, because I'm not giving my money up. A side chick is a whole other relationship. Because how you gonna blackmail? Is I'm expensive. I like to go out to eat. I like to go shopping. I like to. So then, how you gonna maintain me and another? They do. That's what, I'm, that's what saying. I'm saying. Do that with your nigga. I just can't. You know, you know what I mean? I'll do it with their nigga. Because that's my. That, that's, <laughs> that's my. That's my. That's my. That's my thing right there. Like, if I if I cheat, I'm gonna definitely have a different chick. Lexi is my friend, but I don't. Time. I don't condone her activities, and I don't go against her activities. I let her you activities let her be, her. be her activities. Period. I'm gonna get the bill space. Stop playing me. Yes, Big Daddy. I'm I'm available. What you doing? <laughs> are you are you one of the few people that believe in karma? Do I? Yeah, absolutely, yes. So and I have my karma. My whole fucking car was stolen in October. Stop playing with me. I'm you. saying, when you get a man, you think he gonna meet another you out there? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think there's too many of these out there. You might be right. right I'm a one in a million. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not heard a lot of most girls that I but meet. But karma is real. Like yeah. I've, I've, you know, I've, you know, I've, I've had my karma. I'll be like, you know what? It's because I fucked that nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> as soon as that happens, I love man, her. This is why I love her. Like my anything. car was stolen because I've been fucking that nigga. That's you see. That's what I get. Let me get a new car. You know what I'm saying? You just keep it rolling. You take your karma and you keep it rolling. You roll with the punches. <laughs> it's life. Ain't that what we do? Okay. <laughs> I, that's why I've never been a side. Cause I feel like the moment I take somebody else's man, somebody gonna take me. But my it's man. not taking him. He, could, I want him to stay over there. You just want him to share. Just want yeah. Him to share. And give so me money. Cool I, just, with your dude I don't like to call that what it is. If share. I find out my man candy. is giving a bitch money. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this shit on fire. Okay, I'm gonna set that in. But you'll be cool. His problem just... not mine. His problem not mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm setting some shit on fire. He's still gonna help me out though, bitch. As soon as y'all make up, <laughs> he gonna come over here and cry a little bit and tell me about it. I'm gonna be like, baby, just talk to her. Just talk to her. You know what I'm saying? I'm setting shit on fire. That nigga ain't going know, back. So the money is taken to a different level. Yeah, but if you just giving sex, you just and if mad. he giving sex, especially if he if he fucking oh, they be raw uh, dicking too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at that, if you raw mm -hmm. dicking a bitch mm -hmm. and giving money, yo, they be doing. We that. we done. But if you don't bring nothing back to you, why does it matter? Exactly. You know, yeah. I go to the clinic every three that months. That stuff still comes <laughs> back. I mean, even you ain't bringing back STDs, but then it's. Stuff just intertwined and it's. No, he gonna I take just, a shower or something. No, first. fuck no, that. I don't gonna care. Take a for sure. He ain't yeah. come back. He gonna if you one of my if, wife calls him you a stingy. Towel. No, I'm not sharing. What's wrong with you? I'm not. I don't know. I think monogamy sometimes is overrated. 
<clears throat> Christy. <laughs> you're okay, well, you wanna I, fuck the same motherfucker that I fucked the for same For the rest of your life? I fucked the same motherfucker for 10 years, and as soon as we broke up, I got some new dick and was like, God damn. That's what the fuck is out here. I'm just fucking the same like, dick. I don't want the dick. I, I'm, I'm gonna fuck the same dick. I don't want the dick. I'm sorry. One dick. That changed my life. I got some new dick and was like, hell no, nah, I can't even go back because I'm not a cheater. I can't cheat, but I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? I've had previous dick, but now I'm one dick. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. But you can dabble with the bitches a little bit though. That's different. So you not you not monogamous. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you not monogamous either, nigga. I mean, still dabble, but. <laughs> <laughs> if you dabble, listen. If y'all girl mess with another girl, do y'all consider that cheating? No. No. no? That's not cheating. No. no. Is that cheating, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Is that cheating? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all. Met some tender dude. What? Like, That's cheating. Why is that cheating? I ain't cheating. What it's you not just call? Well, unless I bring out pinky <laughs> tender dick. It's not. It's tender. <laughs> what? <tail. laughs> what? Take off, that's tender. Wait, why do you feel like that? Females licking on another female? I'm mad about you. I ain't no, you how is that mad. cheating though? Yeah, it's not. But if, if she tells you though, it don't matter. If she tells you, that's definitely not cheating. You know. Baby, I'm good around with dads. Let some coochie from here and there. That's cool. Y'all's bullshit. Y'all's y'all's tripping today. What? He is not feeling cheating. I mean, elaborate, bro. I mean, I mean, I'm saying. If you know it's cheating, but, uh, but see the thing is though, it's, cheating, it's not your your, your your viewpoint is cool. I mean, but I'm I'm saying it for the uh, the audience. Why do yeah, you elaborate? Yeah, it's just cheating, like for the audience too. Like if, if, it doesn't matter what sex. It's only cheating. If you have you threesome, yeah. if you have a threesome you with two girls, with your girl and another girl. No, but listen, that's not what y'all. That's not what y'all saying though. Y'all saying it as far as like. When you she, at work and I have yeah, a bitch come over and eat my cookie. Yeah, that's though. cheating. That is cheating. That's that's cheating. If you know she coming over, it ain't cheating though. I mean, well, if you if you know she coming over like that, y'all setting something up, then that, y'all have an agreement. That's that's different. But yeah. if it's like. If you're saying it in the cheating manner, if, a if you don't say nothing and you, you hide it, you know, then yeah, that's cheating. Yeah, that's cheating. But me personally, I'm that. up front with it. I'd be like, baby, I like bitches. And from time to time, you might walk in and there might be a bitch in my bed. <laughs> and you know, are you cool or not? Would you it? let him join? Absolutely. Okay, well, Sometimes he's woken up to it. Like, if I, I, come, like, man, no if I walked in and I couldn't join, I'd be mad. Yeah, I'll be mad. But sometimes you might not be able to join. Oh, I'll be hot. That's going to get shut down. Why? That's not fair. <laughs> I got a penis running this house. What, what y'all <laughs> think this is? She about to get out off tops. No. Man, I'm getting me some. Then that's when it starts cheating. Then you're going to sneaky link. I'm not. You be out with her, man. What y'all doing? A lot of shit. My sneaky link. Oh, your voice got deeper when you sick. I kind of like it. <laughs> like the COVID voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you said you lost your taste, my nigga, so, you Yeah, know. like I'm feeling a little weird. Yeah, it's over with for him. He just affected everybody. We ain't six feet. It's okay. I got my uh, shot. All right, so. well, I just, I had to go Look, to the rapid test. She's been vaccinated. Uh, I've been vaccinated. Did the John, what's the, the Johnson the Johnson. Johnson? They just took that out the show. Was, hey, they said something was wrong with that. Let me tell y'all, I got the shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all about my journey. She got shot. That third, I got my shot on a you Wednesday. Three of them? No, oh. I only got one. The Johnson is one. So I got the Johnson on a Wednesday. Thursday I woke up with a headache and I was shivering and I was oh, just no, sick. No, no. I couldn't do, I couldn't function. Mm. I was doing meetings <laughs> from the bed and I was laying in the bed with my laptop next to me and I just got up and answered questions and I went to sleep. I would have told him I've been injected with COVID. I woke up Friday, still got a bad headache. Dang. Still sick, can't eat, just fucked up. Man. And then Friday evening, my boyfriend got home and he bought me some food and some ibuprofen and it was like, I took the ibuprofen and boom, I was better. Back. I was sad. It was like two day downtime. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about knowing that uh, like six women died off of it? That's yeah, crazy. I, that's crazy. Did it scare you? Not really. I don't read the internet. Look, <laughs> I mean, not really. I mean, but everyone's going to react. 
to differently. everything differently. Yeah. So. Damn, people died off this shot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, they did. You want to know something? Blood clots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let's talk about the rapid results test. So I had to take my kids to go get rapid results test because they had a, like a stomach bug. They were throwing up, mm. so they get they got kicked out of school. They were like, take your kids to get COVID tested. I kind of bullshit a little bit. I was like, I'm busy, you know. Took them to get COVID tested, right? My daughter, negative. My son, positive. So I'm like, you know, and at this point, they're already over. Their stomach bug literally lasted 24 hours, and they were over it. So I, he was in, he was sitting there like, Mom, I feel fine. And I'm like, there's no way this man has COVID. She's like, any fever, any respiratory? There's nothing respiratory. Like, they literally had a stomach bug. So she was like, all right, we're going to do another test, and it's a little bit more intricate, and we'll send it over to a lab and get it tested. And I was like, all right, cool. So they tested both of them. And guess what happened? I got the results. It was negative. Yesterday, both of them was negative. I don't believe it. Their rapid tests. results are tests are ridiculous. Like, how you how you testing positive in a rapid result, and then you send it to a lab, and it's negative? Mm. Well, you know. So do you know how many false positives there are? A what lot. if HIV was like that? What you if the know. HIV uh, rapid result was like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you got HIV, you don't. Maybe, sure. maybe not. <laughs> I think that's why um, to travel to a lot of countries, they're not accepting that rapid no. test. Mm -mm. You got to go to a lab because it's not accurate. accurate. Mm -mm. We got a false a false positive. How y'all feel about traveling? With, with, the, with the traveling? I'm out here. I'm traveling. I'm going out. What? I'm sorry. I got trips I'm booked. I'm going to world already, baby. Don't I'm love, ready. Love, going to Orlando. Like, period. Like, like, I'm going. I'm going to Cabo. You better take me with I'm you. I'm going to Tulum. Wait, 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 you didn't tell me about any of these days. I need a request. I'm going to Jamaica. Mm. Are you? I'm out here. Period. Yeah, I'm out here. Yeah, I'm out here. Period. Out here. Yeah, we definitely, we, we all out here. I'm out here. I'm going yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Where yeah, you going? I have to see this body. We got, we, got, we got New Orleans next month. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so dope. I'm hot. You going to New Orleans? Yeah. Next month. Have they opened it up? Like, have they opened it back up? Yeah, people have been traveling now. I've been say, on a travel page. I've seen people there taking tours and stuff. And Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Vegas open. next month. I'm excited. May what? Huh? May what? Okay. We might be going the same day. I'm going to Vegas. I don't want to see you on the I'm going to Vegas the weekend before the holiday. It's when I'm going to Vegas. I'm what? going everywhere. I'm just booked. Why you ain't hey, telling me about none of these days so I can't go with you on none <laughs> of these trips? I'm trying to go. I'm just trying to. I know. Because you be having an attitude. Nah. You be having an attitude over telling me what you doing. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop. 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 Come on. You, you named too many places. You tell me you ain't going with your man? We going to, nah, uh, I, I to Cabo. We going, going to Cabo, Cabo together. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because that's too many places. Like, I don't know how, how it would feel with my girl frequently traveling without me. Oh, right. Okay, so, hey, let's talk about something. Frequently. Side, so, if, I'm, if your girl traveling every weekend by herself, like every weekend, just constantly, Friday through Sunday, I mean, I'm gone. You gotta bring that more realistic. Like, what you mean? Like, going, let's say, like, going out to the club every weekend. My man will have a problem with it. Because ain't nobody going out of town. What, what, you, doing what you doing by yourself? What you doing by yourself, though? Yeah, what's wrong with you? What you doing tell, by yourself? Tell who I was before a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> She's a traveler. She is a traveler. Tell who I am. But you did bring girls. But like you were with girls. Yeah. Like you were never like by yourself. She's always with a girl or like some friends. Like she's never I alone. Are y'all feeling some type of way? Yeah. You gotta sit down. What's wrong with you? She wait, down. but y'all can go to the club. Like, Take me with you, bitch. Y'all could y'all could go to the club every weekend, but nah, we can't go to the club. Really the problem really is, once Alexis joins the party, then it changes the dynamic. Then it's like, oh, you bring Lex with you. So what's really going? on? Oh yeah, you ain't going with her. Oh yeah, no, no. Let's just get you in trouble. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, you my girl. You talking about her? Oh no. I'm gonna keep it real. No, but I am traveling though. No, That's no, no. It's time. Yeah, no, Lexi definitely. My girl can never go with Lexi. <laughs> if Lexi is a part of it, nobody's boyfriend likes me at all. Well, you kind of just ran off on a lot of things of why a nigga wouldn't like me. <laughs> You ran off everything that wild nigga wouldn't I'm like. Sorry, what this girl? <laughs> wouldn't that fall in the controlling category? Exactly. You telling your yeah. girl what to do? Girls hate that. He's so controlling. Mm -hmm. No, I, it's not mm. controlling. Nigga, the high probability to... of my girl doing something with a girl that is out here promiscuous, yes. Why did you put that label on me? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got that. I am so I got that. Engaging. 
That was probably the funniest shit I've ever heard of. Like, 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 like,